You know, every advisor since the beginning of time has been looking for people to talk to. And yet, people, well, they're just everywhere. You know, there are more than 7.5 billion people on the planet. Clearly, the problem is not them, it's us. Hi, Jim Ruta for The Covenant Group, today in Las Vegas. You know, the prospecting problem today is not finding people. Well, it really never has been, has it? The problem is asking people to meet with you to talk about business. That's the problem. Well, you know, it's trite maybe, but at the heart of this problem is, well, your heart. You know, is your heart into prospecting? You know, our Covenant Group research tells us that high performance people, high performance advisors have three key characteristics, three C's if you will, that make them great prospectors. Now, the first one is why they don't have prospecting problems, and you probably do. And that first one is confidence. You know, it's a special kind of confidence that uh, is key to high performance prospecting. It's your confidence in your product and your service uh, that you provide that is so valuable that you want to talk to everyone that you know about helping them out with whatever it is that you do. And I'm talking about talking to everyone. Now, if you hedge that belief, you will not prospect consistently. You just won't do it all the time. And of course, that'll kill you. You know, instead, you will at best become an accidental prospector. You know, you'll find a prospect now and again. Just, of course, like a blind squirrel finds a nut now and again. But, in, but when you truly believe that you provide great value, well, you know what happens then? Prospecting will never become a problem. You must be so confident in yourself and your product and your service that you will speak to everyone in your target market about working with you. It's absolutely part of what has to happen. You won't say, as so many lesser producers have said over the years, lesser performers have told me, you know, if I have to depend on my friends and family to make a living, well, I won't do it, you know, and they put their foot down. Well, it's too bad, isn't it? You see, because of course, those people are actually depending on you to talk to them. Instead, when you are a high per, when you are high performance confident in what you're doing, these friends and family are the first people you will talk to. I, you'll, you wouldn't hold back great ideas, great solutions, great products from the people you care about most. Of course not. They'd be the first people you talk to. That's such a key part of success as an advisor. You would go to them first. Then, of course, when you do that, then this whole idea of social mobility prospecting begins to work for you, too. Social mobility prospecting, just talking to everyone that you meet in the course of your day-to-day -day life and your business about working with you, you know, if they fit your, um, your ideal client profile. So that's a key part of it. That's making it work. Now, as Zig Ziglar would have said many years ago, he said, if you're having uh, prospecting problems, he said, well, give yourself a checkup from the neck up. A checkup from the neck up. Make sure that you believe in what you are selling sufficiently, that you're convinced you need to speak to everyone you know about working with you to help solve their problems. And by the way, when that happens, when they say no, it's not your problem, it's their problem. And this makes it different for you. But it is really the number one reason that people can't prospect. It's because they just simply don't believe. Hey, do you want to know more about the other two C's that can make you a great prospector? I can help. Jim at covenantgroup.com or 416-689-7882. God bless, and I'll see you again next week.